Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm headed to grab Amber. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, <clears throat> going to pick her up and we're headed to the doctor's. We are 13 weeks today, so we're going for our checkup. Um, I don't know if we're going to get an ultrasound today or not. I hope so. Uh, we are going to see Dr. Waller today, the actual doctor, not the nurse practitioner. So uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, we've only met her one time. Um, she was really nice. That's our baby doctor. Uh, Dr. something Waller. I don't know. I can't remember her first name. But she was really nice. Pretty young. A uh, lot younger than I anticipated, which is cool. I'm totally fine with that. I know that she's given birth to uh, her... I don't know if that's how you phrase it or not. But delivered uh, several babies that I know. Um, so, uh, she seems really nice and really cool. Um, her nurse practitioner, Sherry Waller, no, Sherry Wilker, maybe? I don't know. Anyway. Nurse Sherry, she's real nice. She real nice. She, she's an older lady and she's really cool. She is so funny. Oh my goodness. I, we told you the story the last time we were there. Uh, about her talking about <laughs> the Virgin Mary riding the donkey and while in labor and all that stuff and she's just really cool she's really cool so um, we're excited I'm about to pick her up and uh, I don't know if she's already ate or not but anyway um, we're headed, headed to the doctor's appointment all right I got the babe with me Hi. <laughs> we are 13 weeks today yes. how long have you been pregnant woman I've been pregnant for 90 days. 90 days? Oh my <laughs> word! And we live 190 days before the baby will be here. What? 90 days? That's that is like, that is, that is job probation. That is like, I just started my job 90 days till I get health insurance. Oh my word! <laughs> this is crazy. 90 days. We have been, well she's been pregnant. I'm just looking like I'm pregnant. Oh, that's so cool. It seems like it should be more than that. But I don't know, I guess the way it, it says it on my app that I have my Baby Bump app. Yeah. By the way, get Baby Bump Pro. It's a Baby good, Bump Pro. It's good. It has daily updates and weekly updates. And they give you, like, pictures of the baby and, like, all different, um, like, a 2D, a 3D. Uh, 2D. A 2D <laughs> and then a, a 4D um, view. And so it's really cool. A baby's that age. So it's really neat. It's a good a good app I really like it and then I also use um, the pregnancy plus app and that one gives you a lot of it also gives weekly and daily updates uh, but it gives you more of like the medical side of it like uh, you know like what's coming up like warnings of you know different things to make sure you eat or do to make for sure and avoid this it, it, it's really good warning your belly shall protrude <laughs> yeah and it's getting there what? It is. It is I'll, I'll let you get a shot whenever we get out of the car. When uh, when I walked in the house and she walked out of the out of the <laughs> hallway, I was like, "Huh, oh, little baby bump, little baby baby bump." There is one. It's about so time. It's, it's it is time. Weeks. We're we are out of our first trimester. We have tried so hard for twelve weeks, and now we are out of our first try, and we're gonna try again in our second try, Mester. Yeah. We are we're so excited. Oh my goodness. Did you tell them we were going to the doctor? Yes, we are on the way to the dock to see the dock wall. Dr. Waller. What is her first name? Dr. Jennifer Waller. She's Jennifer really Waller. And Sherry Welker is her nurse practitioner. Sherry Welker, see? They are really great. Sherry's a lot of fun. Dr. Waller's more to the point, but mm -hmm. if you have questions, she doesn't mind answering them. But she's just not one to sit in your room and just chat it up with you for an hour. Like so. Dr. Sherry. Yeah, she's nurse awesome. Sherry. She's really cool. She's so cool. <laughs> and Hilary. And I'm going to ask him today when we can find out, since my ultrasounds are free, if they will just go ahead and do one at my next appointment to find out the gender. Gender. But I'm going to find out what's all going to happen at my next appointment because I'm, I'm not sure if they're going to do more blood work or what, what we're going to do. So I'm going to find out from her today. And we'll see. I think they're going to measure me today, my belly. So anyway, we'll see. We're excited. Yes, we are. Ha <laughs> ha. We're in here. We're in the we're in the office room, the visit room. She's she's just chilling up there. Chilling. They have paper down just in case she wets the bed. <laughs> just <laughs> kidding. Just <laughs> oh. 
Was it fun? Sure. <laughs> just peeing on a cup. Just peeing on a cup. Don't mind me, I'm just peeing on a cup. Oh, look at me, I'm a cup of pee. Oh boy. I'm glad you didn't let your video be me. <laughs> We're just chilling, waiting for the duck. You know, just being awesome and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye. Alright, so we just left the appointment. Hi, oh my gosh. <laughs> We got to do an ultrasound because she had just a little bit of pain yesterday and so the doctor was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and do an ultrasound. Just to be safe. Just to be safe, which we were so thankful for. And so we got to hear the heartbeat. Oh, oh my word, it was amazing. And he's gotten so big. He, he's enormous. He proper term. We don't know the gender. But he's he, literally he's as so big as big. me. He's huge. <laughs> he is huge. He's measuring perfectly though. 13 weeks. Perfect. So oh right goodness. on the money, like 13 weeks exactly. So this is crazy. Yes. We did not expect to be able to get an ultrasound. No, I, I didn't think they would because they thought I was just having like intestinal problems. But I told her that I didn't really think that, that was the case just because, you know, I've been really hydrated and I've been taking my vitamins and everything. And then she said, well, it could be just the round ligament pain. You know, you could be just having stretching. So, ended up, that's what it is, but they checked the baby, baby is measuring perfectly, baby is healthy, and I'm healthy. Next week, it, we get to find the gender. Gender! I'm going to get measured. Next month. I mean, next month, I'm sorry. Next month, sorry. We're going to find out the gender. We, I'm going to be measured. <laughs> we're going to also, if the insurance is going to pay for it, we're also going to do some um, invade non-invasive testing on the baby mm -hmm. um, that's just a general test they normally do offer it to everybody so since if the insurance can pay for it we're gonna go ahead and do it just because we know the baby's healthy and everything but this is gonna check like everything inside the body that we can't see yeah so it's really exciting really cool um, they're gonna do my blood work to check me as well as you know for any deficiencies or anything like that so we're really excited everyone's healthy um, I've gotten the okay that I'm good to exercise as much as you know I, I can handle how much my body to just to listen to my body and so I've been released to do that I can exercise and just to drink plenty of water and to not uh, not be afraid to drink lots of water because she said when you're pregnant you can't really drink too much water so anyway we're really excited it went great I'm just that heartbeat is the sweetest sound I've oh ever heard in my life. It blew me like, away. I was just, I was crying. I was so excited. I couldn't stop grinning. Like, I was smiling ear to ear. From ear hole to ear hole. <laughs> oh, my word. So, it's 160 beats per minute. But, oh, man. His, yeah, 160. So cool. And that's normal for them at this at this age. It kind of, last time it was like 140, and it kind of peaks up a little bit, and then it'll kind of level out. So... We're excited that everything's great. I was a little worried, but then I wasn't too worried because I thought that maybe it was just stretching. Yeah. So, we are good, but I'm glad that my doctor is not hesitant about taking tests and doing ultrasounds to make for sure that me and baby are okay. Me too. That was so she's cool. She's great. Oh my she gosh. She is so good. Like she spent a lot of time with us today and she was really great and answered all of our questions. Yep. So. We are so excited. Oh my goodness. And I can't believe <laughs> next month we get to find out. Oh my word. <laughs> we get to find out that it's a boy. In Jesus name, amen. Oh my goodness. No, it doesn't just, It doesn't have to be a boy, but we're pretty sure. We're pretty we're, sure. We're pretty sure. Stop putting your oh, hand sorry. in front of my face. <laughs> anyway, we love you guys. Thank you for all your prayers. And thank you for supporting us yep. and watching these videos. Yep. Feel free to share them with your Thumbs friends. Thumbs up it and your family and thumbs up it and subscribe share them with your enemies too and they'll become yeah. your friends <laughs> yeah that's what the bible says and, oh and we're gonna try we might be able to we haven't fully decided we may so upload ooh. our ultrasound like we actually have the cd with the heartbeat so we may upload that and let you guys see him moving around so we're really excited yes we are <laughs> we're so excited oh my goodness so we're gonna get something to eat i have to head back to work yum yum num nums Num nums. Bye bye. Bye. All right, it's workout time. Whew. This is going to be wild and crazy. So I'm mixing it up a little bit. I'm not doing the uh, the 
burpees or the jumping jacks because of my knee. Um, so what I'm going to do instead is, um, I'm not entirely sure what they're called, but it's a plank where you start out on your elbows and then you walk up onto your hands and then back down onto your elbows, up onto your hands, back onto your elbows. I'm going to do those, do 10 of those, and then instead of jumping jacks, I'm going to do lunges very carefully. Um, I still need to work out my quads, so I'm still going to do squats, and I'm still going to do lunges, just air squats uh, and air lunges. I'm not going to do weighted. I weigh enough for right now because um, I still need my my quads and my hamstrings to get strong, and I, I need there to be a lot of strength there to uh, support my knee. So um, those are what I'm going to do instead. So instead of burpees, I'm going to do those plank push-ups. Um, they're not really push-ups, but... They're not just a straight plank either. And then uh, instead of jumping jacks, I'm going to do lunges. And we'll see how that goes. Um, my sister gave me some essential oils called Panaway. And I rubbed that on my knee last night. And my knee feels so much better today. Uh, I haven't hardly had any pain walking up steps or anything like that. So I'm really thankful for that. I got a knee brace on. I would show you, but <laughs> I don't want anybody to get offended at my kneecap. Um... So, all right, you ready to do this? I don't have any pre-workout, so I just drink two shots before I come home from work. <laughs> it gets me hyper! <laughs> I'm so ready to work out now! Anyway, so, um, yes, and uh, Midtown Madison, at Midtown Madison on Instagram, uh, brought me a peach water, a 44-ounce peach water, so I'm, I am watered up. I'm hydrated. I'm ready to get this show on the road. I've got lots of water for when I get done because I'll be sweating like nobody's business. All right, folks. I'm going to do 10 push-up planks. I'm going to do 20 air squats, maybe. I might not quite do 20. Um, then I'm going to do 10 push-ups. Then I'm going to do 20 lunges, uh, probably 10 for each leg, 20 total. And then um, I'm going to do 20 sit-ups as one round um, and see how many rounds I can do. I'm hoping to do at least two, if not two and a half. Um, if I can do three, I will be flexing hardcore because I'll be excited about that. So anyway, uh, enough talking. Time to work here. Well, we had a great night at church. It was fun. It was a great service, great move of God. Um, Jeremy Hart led worship did a phenomenal job um, and Angela Harwood spoke um, about the wounded healer and she preached about how Jesus is our wounded healer he was wounded not just not just uh, before his crucifixion but throughout his life he was wounded he was treated as less of a person because a lot of people viewed him as a, as a fatherless child and he was abused and bullied and different things. And, you know, the scripture says that he learned obedience to the things he suffered. And I think sometimes we forget that um, he had a hard life. And uh, she said that, that we have, that Jesus, the perfect God, lived an imperfect life. And that's really powerful to me to think about how even though he was perfect, his life and the things that happened around him was imperfect. Sometimes we, I feel like we forget that and take that for granted, but him being wounded and being our healer, he heals us so that we can in turn be wounded healers and just amazing, just an amazing message. And uh, Angela, if you see this by any chance, Thank you so much, um, because that was, that was really, really good, um, very incredible. Um, thank you for ministering to Amber and uh, praying with her, and um, we, I know we were both very touched tonight, very touched, and we we're so thankful for you being sensitive and, um, and preaching that um, to everybody. Um, on a more uh, physical, whatever, on a more physical note, um, 
I had a really good workout today. Uh, very good workout. The best one that I've had so far. Um, I like the changes that I made to my workout. Um, I did it without any pain other than um, other than my muscles just being tired, of course, from, from working them. Um, doing squats and lunges just killed my legs, which is good. I'm not complaining. It was good. Uh, muscles are tired. Um, they definitely got worked. And uh, I hit a hit a milestone for me. Um, I did um, 40 sit-ups today. Uh, 20 per round. I did two full rounds today. I feel like Friday I feel pretty confident that I can do um, at least close to three rounds Friday. So I'm really excited about that. But I did 40 sit-ups today. I had been doing 20 sit-ups and then 20 crunches. Um, but today I got all 40 in. And um, I'm really proud of myself. And I, um, I'm really excited about... Uh, the fact that I'm getting stronger and um, my endurance is already going up a little bit and uh, that I'm improving already. Um, I'm very excited about that. Um, I look forward to dropping away. I didn't eat very clean today. Um, I, I, I just didn't. Um, and it stinks, but um, I'll do better tomorrow and Friday and Saturday. And, um, and I'm excited about that. Um, so I encourage you guys, you know, just do something. Do something. Clean up your eating. Um exercise. I'm not exercising every day. I'm exercising every other day. Um, it only takes me about 10 or 15 minutes to get worse slap out. Um, just do something, you know, I'm losing weight. I'm feeling better already. Um, my knee, I didn't have any problems with my knee. It's not hurting right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rub some pan away on it again tonight. And, um, um, there was a, I had just a little twinge when I walked up the steps tonight. So, um, I'm going to rub a little bit on there, and uh, that'll feel better in the morning. Um, and then tomorrow's a rest day for me, or you'll, you'll be watching it on Thursday, but Thursday's a rest day for me. So um, I'm excited. I'm excited. Amber's feeling pretty good tonight. Um, her head was hurting just a little bit, but that's already gone away. Um, so she's she's in the shower, getting ready for bed, and I'm just closing this out. I want to wish you all a good night and hope you have a great Thursday and a great weekend. God bless. I sounded like a preacher right then, didn't I? God bless. May the Lord richly bless and keep thee. May thou be blessed in thine own efforts and may the Lord bless thee and thine and thou. Amen. Truly, truly, fairly, verily, I say unto thee, be blessed.